yeah, everybody that works here is super crafty, and when we come up with new things, everybody gets excited about the new things. And so I said, hey, why don't you guys bring your exciting ideas and share them with our Facebook friends and our live stream followers and everything else? And they said, no, we don't want to do that. And I said, that's okay, I'm the boss, that's what we're doing. <laughs> And so everybody's on board today to do that. So you're going to meet uh, the main team here at Totally Tiffany. Some, you've met some of them before. I know Karen makes a guest appearance from time to time on the Get Organized Challenge. So she's kind of an old hat. But um, at this point, I what are we talking about today? The Clip and Create Rotating Design Board and how it can be used so many different ways, right? So this is Sue Brown, and she does a variety of things here, but you probably know her best as uh, customer service. So if you have any kind of trouble or you need any sort of information, Sue's the gal you're going to talk to when you call in to TT. And Sue is a big stamper. So Sue, tell us why you love this product for stamping. I love it, of course, because it rotates. But before I stamp, I make sure I have the clip all the way on to the edge of the board so it doesn't so it doesn't hit anything while you're hit the bottom of the board while you're twirling it. Then I put a piece of, of paper, any kind of paper, um, and I put it down so when you're stamping, you don't get your board all dirty. Um, and I love the and I love the board because if you go someplace and you're at somebody's table or a card table, this is sturdy. You're not gonna have any bumps on it. Um, oh yeah, it's nice and flat. It's nice so and flat. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you're not gonna distort right. your stamps. And what I did is I'm going to do random stamping, and that's what's nice about this. Um, I set out my stamps with the colors in front of them so I don't grab the wrong color and the wrong stamp and get my colors all mixed up. So this is, you wanna just kinda go around the board. I guess you have to ink it, ink it more. But. Oh, so even if you stamp off the card, you've got that paper yep, underneath. You got the paper there so you won't, won't damage or get your board all Easy. different colors. Easy. Love it. Sue's working on a fall card. We're going to show you all of it. Her little See how easy it is just to... Oh yeah, and you really get that random pattern. It looks like leaves are flying through mm -hmm. the air in the fall. Um, the fall so. And it's super smart to put your stamp right next to the ink color that you want to use. I'm the one who would be like putting the wrong stamp in the wrong color. And yeah, destroying the stamp. Okay, this the is whole just thing. kind of a, you know, a little... And you don't want to, you don't want to put your card on the clip because you want to get all the edges if you can but just kind of a really random little and then i've got my ink there so overlap there so make sure you got that paper underneath just a super simple way to manage that card project and if you were using something else like if you had glitter glue in one corner or paint in one corner also then that would allow you to work on another area of the card without getting your hand or your wrist into that inky or painty or glitter gluey spot Plus, it's great for embossing. You might want to put a heat pad down, um, but instead of burning your hands, if you have a little project, you can put your embossing powder on and take your um, hot hot gun or and um, emboss oh, yeah. that way, so you don't so you don't Not burn yourself. Your nice, very nice. Mm -hmm. All right, Sue Brown. really isn't torture for her. She's done no, some all. video stuff. And she people don't scare me. And she's done <laughs> a lot of other teaching stuff. She's an old hand, so it's not even fun to tease her about it because she's like, whatever. So what are you going to tell us about? Why do you love your rotating design board? Well, in addition to all the other things that you've already talked about, um, I, I do Zentangle. And Zentangle, if you're not familiar with it, is it's the art of creating complex looking drawings, just a, like a line at a time. It really, it's intricate patterns, but you do it in, in small pieces and they, and they turn out really amazing. This we blew up just to kind of show a large one, but it's black and white, simple line drawings, but then it gets a lot more complicated. Um, what I have found when doing Zentangle, I, I like to also um, use pencil to do shading after I'm done with the, the ink. And to do shading, it's really important to um, to just be really careful about where you're going with it and um, as I've learned with the drawing and things in general sometimes it's better for you to 
Well, and this is kind of Zen Tangle. The whole thing is that you kind of zone out and you just do it, and it's it's very Zen activity. Um, if you turn your thing upside down from where you have been, you kind of quit thinking about it as the shape that it is, and you just start thinking about it as um, just the line that you need to do. And so it's a, it's sometimes it's easier to really address the the color and the tone that you need and you're not thinking about what the item is so turning it upside down turning it around being able to get into all the little nooks and crannies and still have this just solidly on your lap or solidly on your desk and it's just it's so much easier plus with pencil sometimes you'll end up with your hand in what you've already worked on and you don't have to do that if you if you turn it around this way so those are the things that i like about it nice and I think um, I've seen a lot of Karen's work in Zentangle, and she does some really cool things. And it is, I would imagine, really important to keep your hand out of it and just right. be able to easily rotate around, whether you're working on your desktop or on your lap. So if you're somebody who enjoys doing Zentangle or drawing, doodling of any kind, this is a great tool for any of those kind of activities as well. So I want to introduce you to Deanna Shell, who does special projects here at Totally Tiffany. And Deanna is also the mother of four, and she found a really cool way to use the rotating design board to be a parent. Parenting her, tool. In her parentings, yeah, in her parenting thing. So, yeah, so Andrew is my 13 year old, he's going into eighth grade this year. Um, he had a summer math packet. Um, so I was sitting down to check it out before he goes back to school. Um, grabbed my design board, headed out to my porch swing sit in the sun. Um, first, put the clip on the top. Thought it was going to be easy. Just flip through it. As you can see, it just keeps falling down. So then, I just flipped it on the side. And then, it was just really quick, really easy, just to keep flipping through. Correct his, his work. Um, went inside, called him in, sat down with him. Was able to have him sit across from me. Um, went through each page, showed him which ones were wrong. He could easily correct them. And as I flipped through each page, had him correct, he didn't even have time to roll his eyes at me. Winner, winner. So a great way to actually just use it as a lap desk, yeah. right? So um, because it's small and compact, you can just do regular kinds of things. And then you mentioned to me also that um, now you just use it like to make your list for the day. Yeah. I do because you love our list. We live the list here at Tipsy, Totally Tiffany. So um, in the evenings when I'm winding down for the day, thinking about tomorrow, I just use this, throw my journal on here, um, start my to-do list for tomorrow, write down my thoughts from the day, and then it just fits right next to me um, on my nightstand, and it's perfect. Super easy. Yeah. So, so many different ways to use it. And then um, also, during our live stream, somebody during live stream asked us about a particular use. And so, and that was, will it hold my ditto? So if you are using the double-sided tool organizer, it totally works. So this one's all loaded up and you can see Deanna just spinning it around. So if you have a smaller space and you can't open your ditto bag up, this could be the perfect tool to just hold that ditto bag right on your workspace. Or maybe you need to take it with you to a crop or something and then you just throw your design board into your bag with it and, and use it that way as well. Okay, last but not least, Totally Tiffany Employee Torture Day is Brandy Roller. So come on over, Brandy. Brandy's the most resistant. <laughs> she loves being behind the scenes, as you know, because she does our Instagram behind the scenes um, TT behind the scenes Instagram. So Brandy though was one of, or probably the f actual first colorer um, on staff. So when we started talking about designing things for coloring, she was like, I am so in, I love coloring. So tell us why you love your rotating design board, Brandy. Um, the main function for me is being able to be portable. Um, I like that I can take this anywhere, so to the couch, um, I can color in bed, and it doesn't even matter because it rotates, I can spin it, I can clip my coloring book to it, um, so that's probably the biggest feature for me. The portability of it. Yes. The stability when you're moving it around, yes, right? Yes, definitely. Brandy, you were excited about this because you're a colorer. Is it, is it easy to work with, and do you like it as much as you thought you were going to like yes. it? Yes. Definitely love it. Nice. It is also the very first product that I purchased. 
Oh. And I've used it every single day. Nice. Wow. Good <laughs> you know, Brandy. Yeah. Awesome. All right, everybody. So there you have it, right? The multiple ways that you can use your rotating design board, right? So we've got great for coloring, works on a flat surface, but you can hold it in your lap. It's perfect for drawing and doodling like we saw with Karen and Zentagle. Sue showed us how to stamp with it and how easy it is to work around the edges of a stamping project. Um, and then who else? Oh, Deanna showed us, hey, let's get it out of the arts and craft world and actually use it at home. You can use it for making lists, for grading your kids' homework, all of those kind of things. Also tell you that I have uh, a, a couple of sons and my younger son also likes to doodle. And so he loves to just have it with him at the couch. He doesn't really draw anything. He just likes to doodle while he's on the phone or watching TV. So even your kids are gonna find some great uses for the rotating design board. Thanks so much for tuning in today. I know you're gonna love this product.